Bruce Lee, the greatest fighter of all time. Like many of you here, I've always been a big fan of Bruce Lee, despite not ever participating in any martial arts, I've been influenced heavily by Bruce Lee's way of thought and philosophy. Bruce Lee is considered to be one of the best martial artists of his time and as a result has had a great influence on the current mixed martial arts also known as the MMA. Particularly Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do promoted four essential aspects that led the way for martial arts teachers to modify their fighting styles. And for those of you who are new to this, this uh, term, Jeet Kune Do, you, you spell it as J-E-E-T-K-U-N-D-O. And the translation of that will be the, the way of the intercepting fist. Despite, despite creating this system of Jeet Kune Do, Bruce Lee later regretted using this, using this term to describe his fighting system because to most people they, they look at uh, Jeet Kune Do as just another Kung Fu, uh, Kung Fu fighting system. And Bruce Lee, he didn't believe in fighting styles, he didn't believe in that. Hence, having the, having the quote, uh, the highest art is no art, the highest form is no form. And for my first visual aid, I have Bruce Lee here with his quote, the highest art is no art, the highest form is no form, which he, which he explicitly defines Jeet Kune Do. I would like to talk about the origination of Jeet Kune Do and the four aspects of Jeet Kune Do. Jeet Kune Do was invented by the famous martial artist Bruce Lee. This form of martial art was invented in the year 1965. Bruce Lee had to alter his way of fighting due to a small battle, which was to him an abomination. According to Bruce Lee, the traditional ways of Kung Fu were a waste of time and that they wouldn't get the job done effectively in an, in an effective manner. Bruce Lee felt that there shouldn't be any limitations in the fight, that one should have a free mind at all times, being formless like water. This way of thought had allowed Bruce Lee to create one of the greatest systems in martial arts history. Having talked about the riches of Jeet Kune Do and a bit about the four aspects, I would like to elaborate a bit more on these aspects of Jeet Kune Do. Practicality has been the most important aspect in Jeet Kune Do. Bruce Lee would say that the many different fighting styles, the many different fighting styles that were used traditionally had no effect in an actual battle. According to Bruce Lee, a lot of time was wasted on these different styles and not on how to be effective enough for getting the job done in an effective manner. These different styles had too many limitations, way too many limitations, for them to be used in an actual battle. Bruce Lee began to think in this way, having had a controversial battle in Oakland, California in the year 1964. Efficiency and flexibility are important aspects of Jeet Kune Do as well. In being flexible, one must be able to make a quick decision in every, in every situation. According to Bruce Lee, it is important to have total freedom, total freedom in the fight. One must not think about what's going on or what will happen in this fight. It's essential to have a free mind at all times. Any technique is necessary in all scenarios, including biting is accepted. The most important thing is scoring in the fight. According to Bruce Lee, indulging in such sophisticated styles, moves will only get, get you into trouble. Speed was another aspect that made Bruce Lee stand out. 
1966, Bruce Lee was on television demonstrating his speed. His speed was so incredible, so incredible, it was difficult for anyone to capture it on camera. To Bruce Lee, training to build muscles will slow, will slow you down. Bruce Lee's speed was considered to be beyond average. Having talked about four aspects of Jeet Kune Do, I would like to show you a short video of Bruce Lee demonstrating his, his speed. And this demonstration took place 1966, I believe, 1966. And as you watch the video, pay close attention to Bruce Lee's right arm, the quickness. As you can see there, that's an indicative to how fast, to Bruce Lee having the fastest punch. Here he demonstrates the a technique called a one inch punch. That's that. To sum everything up, um, practicality, efficiency, speed, and effectiveness have proven that Jeet Kune Do is a successful system created by Bruce Lee. Jeet Kune, Do, Jeet Kune Do has shown that it was, it was a great name for this unique fighting system. Moreover, today's martial arts are influenced by Bruce Lee's system.